festival of its own. But back in April, a flood backstage caused extensive damage at the Theatre Royal in Margate. Now this was a devastating blow for Kent's oldest theatre, but just two and a half months later, the doors will open to an audience once more. Peter Whittlesey has been given a tour around the quickly refurbished building. When the Theatre Royal was first opened in 1787, it was the perfect hangout for Georgian gentry. Since those early days, the theatre has itself faced many real-life dramas. Only three months ago, a flood forced it to close. Now, following extensive repairs costing tens of thousands of pounds, the theatre's manager showed me around. This is the water pipe that uh, severed in the early hours of the morning that caused a shower of water that came down literally from the top of the stage like a waterfall and I have to say there were more tears from the staff when they saw it afterwards because this is the oldest stage in the country and we lost 50 lamps, all these lighting bars, all these ropes have got to be replaced um, and it was sheer devastation. Below the stage it was even worse. This area was under a foot and a half of water. Everything had to be replaced. New electrics in there, new dimmer room, complete. Um, understage area has been reinforced with this wonderful steel support system. It takes away all the temporary old acro props and timbers. And it means we can now have an elephant or two on stage, plus the stage crew. Let me take you through to the front of house and show you what's been going on there. Well, I told you strange things happen in this theatre. Nothing more strange than though when Toy Wilcox was on stage uh, for a programme and all the lights came on, but they weren't even connected. But then when you're the most haunted theatre in the country, it's amazing the things that can happen. So as long as there aren't any other mysterious happenings, the theatre will reopen in just over a fortnight. Okay, that was done by a ghostwriter. I might have.